Who are we talking to? Frank Feta, Ruslan Birukov. And what's going on tonight that's so exciting and very historical? I think what is historical is that we've got a combination of three things. We have a premiere of a new cello concerto. We have a, a brilliant cellist, Ruslan Birukov. We have a text that was written about World War II, and it's being delivered by the very person who wrote the story. And then we have a wonderful composer, Sharon Farber, who is well known throughout the world as a film composer, but has now composed this incredible serious concert work. Tell me how he was inspired. Go and ahead, I'm sorry. There is a phenomenal conductor, Frank Feta, <laughs> and a wonderful orchestra, Glendale Philharmonic. Yes, this is all true. <laughs> <laughs> and, and this is like a first for this, this survivor of the Holocaust tonight. Can you talk about that, this historical moment, and how you both feel about what's going on? Well, it's, it's very touching to be with survivors. It's very interesting also. I met someone just about three days ago, uh, and I invited them to this concert, and he said to me, I would love to come to this concert, and he showed me his arm, and he had the numbers tattooed on his arm. I was very moved. Kurt Lowen is like that as well. He was very active, though, in the resistance movement, the Dutch resistance movement. And so he saved lots of people's lives. So to have that connection to history, usually a piece of music is a piece of music and doesn't have that same connection to history. This one does. And I think that's what makes it extraordinary and very powerful. But, but you know, he's not just a survivor. He's a hero. Yeah, and that's an important that's part of it. You know, a hero is someone who are altruistically in, uh, endangers his risks with his life uh, for the benefit of others. And he, this is that, you know, he's exactly that kind of guy and that's what makes it you know when you have an, a chance to touch a real hero that's a phenomenal plus you know he was a very and is a very active actor he was he's been in like a hundred movies and TV shows so through his whole life he channeled whatever experiences he had into this very active and very powerful performing life plus he has one of those wonderful voices mm -hmm. that can just resonate with the words and with the music. And a really great sense of humor, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Tonight, what do you want people to take away as far as a message? What do you want them to be talking about on the street? And then uh, when, they, when they look back at this, what do you want them to say? My hope is that they will be inspired to know that there are heroes out there, that there are people who want to do the right thing, people who want to correct wrongs that were done, and people who take the moment, seize it, and make it very successful, and carry that on through their whole life, through their art, through their writings, etc., and through their personal experiences. You know, when we played it first time, a lot of people cried during that yeah. concert. Let's hope some of them will cry tonight as well, but those will be tears of joy. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much Thank for talking you. to Thanks us. Thanks for being here.